Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be showing you a video on how to add color to your laser engraved identity horse. Materials you're going to need for your project, sharpie marker, oil pastel, container to put the oil pastels in, newspaper, a uh, piece of paper towel for blending, maybe a scrap piece of paper to test out the colors for the oil pastels. So I'm going to be showing you two different options. The first is using Sharpie marker. If you have a lot of area to fill in, I would not recommend you use a Sharpie marker. So this is a non-example. Notice how when I'm filling in the football, even though I'm kind of not being a little careful on the edge, it just doesn't look great. You can see the Sharpie marks and there's not really any gradation of color. So that's a non-example. Instead, if you have a lot of area, try an oil pastel. I would first test them out the different colors on a scrap of piece of paper and then fill this in. At first glance, it's gonna look like a crayon, and you might not think it looks that much better, but watch as I gradually blend across here. I'm going from heavy pressure to light pressure, so going from left heavy to right lighter, and then I'm coming in with another color. I first used kind of like a caramel or like a, a, a light brown. Now I'm coming in with a darker brown to show some gradation and some gradual change in color. Oil pastels you can blend. Sharpie marker, you can't really blend real well. So I'm blending with the dark brown, heavy from the right, and lighter to the left. Then I'm taking my paper towel and I'm smearing um, the two different colors together. When you're smearing, make sure you hold them down, uh, hold down the paper with your, your finger, and then along the edges, you might actually use your finger instead of your paper towel to really get into the edges there. I would argue this looks much better than the Sharpie version. So choose wisely on your medium of choice. The next technique I'm gonna be showing you today is how to fill in oil pastels throughout the background. Once you have your foreground filled in, using oil pastel is one of the most efficient ways to fill in large areas, but it can be messy, especially when going right to the edge of an object. This example involves me bringing green all the way to the edge of the football. Even if you're very carefully smudging and smearing with a paper towel and really careful with the oil pastel, Sometimes, no matter what you do, you're gonna get green inside that football or oil pastel into your detailed areas. So to avoid this, I'm gonna be showing you a different technique. You're still going to involve you using oil pastels around the outside, outside, but after you have that filled in from the outside, you're gonna be using a colored pencil. So here I'm very carefully going around the outside, but notice how I'm giving a little bit of a margin and a little bit of a space here between the football and between the green. Once you've filled in that margin with oil pastel, you're gonna pick up a colored pencil that's very similar or exactly the same as the oil pastel and fill those into the gaps. With pencil, it's much easier to control, although it's not as opaque and not as solid. So even though this green looks a little faded at first, when I start to smudge and smear that oil pastel closer in, the color will appear seamless and you won't have any oil pastel smudges within that football. So again, using pencil right next to a detailed object and oil pastel outside of it is an excellent way to give you a nice, clean, continuous uh, background right against details that, you might, uh, that might be impossible to fill in otherwise. So use both techniques today as you're filling in your background with oil pastels.